Um, so we've got to try to come around the table and see where there is the weak gender, where there is the weak party, what within our own legal system do we have in order to assist that if we don't have the ability to enforce anything. Oh. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to have your introduction mm -hmm. about your uh, uh, work and your activities. Okay. We had an introduction session. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I missed it, sorry. Okay. Yes. My, my, my name is uh, Amjad Mohammed. Um, I have an organization here in Bradford. In fact, uh, your case, our connection to uh, Kamaluddin Saab, uh, who has put me in touch with yourself. Uh, oh, so you are from Bradford? I am from Bradford. I'm a, I'm sorry. A, okay. yeah, I'm, a, I'm a Bradford lad. Mm -hmm. And um, we've. Uh, We've, we've got an institute here in Bradford called the Oli Foundation. And the Oli Foundation uh, is, is quite a broad umbrella organization. It covers a number of areas. Uh, one of the areas it covers, obviously, we have a, a secondary school. Uh, within the secondary school, we have both uh, Ilmia and national curriculum. It's a day school, so it's not boarding. Uh, we provide for both genders. Uh, we have a male uh, section and a female section. We also have, in the evening, uh, academies. So, which would be considered as maktab, supplementary school. So, we run a number of them as well in the evenings. Uh, we also have a charity, Olive Lantern Trust, in which we do a lot of work in uh, Syria and Gaza. Uh, we're, in fact, at the moment trying to secure some land in Gaza in order to start a farm. So, that's another project that we have uh, in the sidelines. We also have a, a research organization, uh, which is called IRPIS. And within the research organization, we tackle kind of fundamental subjects like the Hilal issue. I'm now <laughs> uh, hoping to start looking at the 15 degrees, 18 degrees discussion as well, inshallah. So watch this space. Uh, so we, we, uh, but what the research we try to do is, is try to go back to our Islamic scholarship. Uh, one of the things that's lost is our Islamic scholarship, which if you look back in our legacy that's been left behind, was very strong. Uh, and it seems we've lost our way somewhat. So the whole purpose of it is the organization, Institute for the Revival. How do Sorry? How do you spell it? It's Institute for the Revival of Traditional Islamic Sciences, which is why if this is better because it's nice and short. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we, we have websites, uh, uh, so any of these areas can, can be checked. Uh, and also, we, we, we just are now uh, looking at hopefully starting a Dal Iftar as well. And particularly, uh, I recently did some work on Fiqh al in which I published a book, Muslims in Non Muslim Lands as a Minority Strip. Uh, about how Muslims can fit in within our, taking our legacy, taking our uh, own um, fiqh and our usul, and how does that permit us to live within a country, you know, is it Darul Aman, is it Darul Aman, how does that fit in with our way of life and how we can integrate, uh, so there, uh, there's, there's a, a book released already by uh, ITS, uh, I did it as a thesis many, many years ago, uh, so we have Mashina, a number of organizations and area that we do uh, and different facilities we try to provide for our local community but it's mainly 